So then coming to the Cleveland Clinic uh, for cardiology training and an EP training, I mean, this was sort of the, the place to be in terms of procedural volume on the cutting edge of uh, medical technology. Uh, and the breadth and scope of cases that they got was just sort of overwhelming. It was and still is the largest fellowship training program. Uh, and so your exposure to um, complex cases and the volume of cases you got was just tremendous here. It was far and above bigger than, than any uh, training institution in the United States. So that was the draw in terms of coming here for training. Uh, my wife is also from Cleveland, so as far as she is concerned, we are now permanent residents of, of, of Cleveland. Um, she's from a big Irish Catholic family, uh, and I don't see any way that uh, I'm going to drag her away from that which actually sometimes is comforting to my patients. I've had some patients here who've lost their, or lost their local physician. And so one of the questions always is, uh, are you leaving anytime soon? Uh, it's, I, I know in my heart of hearts, it's no. Electrophysiology and electrophysiologic uh, issues or problems are often very, very complex. Why does it make them short of breath or tired? Why does it create the palpitations? Where is it coming from? How is it affecting the heart? I think if they have a basic understanding of of some of the issues behind their, their electrical problems, then that sort of lays the groundwork and then they have a better understanding when we sort of lay out a treatment plan. Seeing the patient who's struggled with atrial fibrillation for months, if not years, uh, and you finally decided to go forward with that complex ablation, they're no longer having AFib, you, you don't even need to open their chart. You just see them walking in the clinic and you know they're satisfied, they're happy, and you've made a major difference in their quality of life.